New developments tonight surrounding a police action caught on video showing a Beaumont officer using his knee on a teenager's neck to restrain him. We first showed you that video last night and it's generating a lot of reaction. KFDM's Angel San Juan joins us in the studio to tell us what the police chief and Southeast Texans are saying. Angel. Tiffany, the incident happened in the Parkdale Mall parking lot in February. The cell phone video only surfaced this past weekend. It's taken on an added significance since the death of George Floyd, who died when a Minneapolis police officer kneeled on his neck. Tonight, the Beaumont teenager reached out to me. He wanted to clarify that he's 17 and not 14, as originally reported. He's a student at Beaumont United High School and told me, quote, he doesn't want to be known as the boy in a yellow jacket slammed by the police, but he did say he did nothing wrong that day and was only there protecting his sister. We'd asked the chief for a response beginning yesterday and a short time ago, just minutes ago, Jimmy Singletary released a statement saying he supports the actions of the officers. The chief says the teen attempted to interfere with the arrest of a female who'd been fighting as part of a large crowd of juveniles. And he says the teen resisted the officers. According to Chief Singletary, one officer applied pressure to the teen's upper back and neck and did not place his full weight on him. Chief Singletary says no one was hurt and they released the teen. He says the actions follow the policy and rules of the department, but he adds that after careful consideration, he's decided the department will not teach or condone techniques that involve the intentional use of knees on an arrestee's head or neck as a contact point. You've heard from the chief. Now you'll also hear from the police association. The Beaumont Police Officers Association says it's standing behind the two officers seen in this video confronting a group of teenagers in February in Parkdale Mall's parking lot. One of the teens, a 17-year-old, is telling the officers his sister did nothing wrong. That's when the video shows the two officers pushing him to the ground. Then one of the officers puts his knee on the teen's neck, restraining him for a few seconds, while the second officer warns the other teens to back up. Back up. Back up. But the image of an officer's knee on the teen's neck is alarming to two Beaumont City Council members. That is not a training issue. That is a human dignity issue. Nowhere in your human thoughts that you would conceive that that's right. It's a part of the makeup of the officers that we hire. Uh, some things human beings don't do, regardless of who they are, regardless of what profession. It's those comments the council members gave us Tuesday that prompted the Beaumont Police Officers Association to issue this statement. Association President Robbie Campbell writes, Councilwoman Mouton, Councilman Samuel, we at the Beaumont Police Officers Association are offended by your comments regarding this incident. It is very shameful that you would make emotionally charged comments about our officers based off a 10-second cell phone video. Campbell goes on to say, the comments that you made inflamed a rather sensitive issue without allowing due process for these officers. But the president of the Beaumont chapter of the NAACP says if this technique of restraining someone with the knee to the neck is part of the Beaumont Police Department's policy, we're calling for BPD to immediately cease and desist that practice. In Houston, the police chief there has already made it clear this type of action is not acceptable in what he calls any legitimate police department that he's encountered in his career. Absent being in a fight for your life, the neck is off limits. Does that make sense to you all? The neck is off limit. The Beaumont officers ended up releasing the teen without an arrest, but the two council members say they won't rest until there is accountability for what they see in this video. And you can go to KFDM.com to read the full statements from the Beaumont Police Officers Association and Chief Jimmy Singletary. Tiffany. Thanks, Angel. George